Okay, welcome to the latest Song Snap Tuesday. Uh, as you know, these small videos are just designed to try to get you started on a new song each week with some kind of catalyst, some idea that might get you going. So this week, uh, I'm going to do something, what will I call it? Uh, how about learn from the best? How, how, how will that fit? And the idea is to pick an artist maybe your favourite artist, and then study some songs from a particular era in their uh, development, or just an album of theirs, and then look at their style of playing uh, in, in, in that album or on that particular era, as in what chords are they using, what kind of changes, what kind of chord progressions are they using, what kind of rhythms are they using, what kind of melodies are they using. In a general sense, a bit like uh, if you were learning somebody's dance style, you would look at their signature moves. What are their signature moves when it comes to how they write their songs? Now the idea is not for you to learn their songs, which you, of course you can do and that's probably a good thing, obviously. Uh, but the idea is to learn their style. And the only reason you're learning their style is so that you can uh, take some of that and write your own song based on that, that recipe, if you want to call it that. So I did this a couple of months ago, uh, I think two or three months ago, I looked at some of the early Beatles songs and I looked at the sorts of chords they were using and then I wrote a chord progression uh, based on that. So they use a lot of seventh chords, they use a lot of kind of minor chords and they use them in a particular, what's the, the word I'm looking for? in a particular order. And a lot of that has to do with when they were uh, originally playing together as a live band over in Germany and in Liverpool. A lot of their material that they were copying was from America. And a lot of it was kind of blues and soul based music. So from that, they learned in pop, they learned particular types of chord progressions. And those kinds of chord progressions then pop up in their early songs. So I looked at their early songs only with the idea of figuring that out, figuring that out so that I can maybe write something myself and that's not in that style, but just get inspired to write something used, using those patterns. So that's what I want you to do. Uh, that's your only task. So pick your own uh, artist, your favourite artist maybe, listen to an album, look at the songs from that perspective what kind of chord progressions are they using? What kind of melody is it? Uh, what kind of rhythm? How do they play? Build up a pattern or a, a knowledge of that and then use that to write your own song. So just to give you an example, this morning, because I had watched uh, Margaret Glaspie, who's one of my favourite songwriters, on YouTube last night and she was playing a Neil Young song, Harvest Moon, and she was playing it live, so I was watching that. So this morning, I think I had Neil Young in my head. So I thought, well, I'll do a wee teeny bit of what I'm asking you to do, is just go on uh, to the internet, search for, I don't know, what was that I put in? Typical chord patterns of Neil Young, and I put that into Google. And it came up with things like, he uses a lot of ninths and sixths, and I thought, well, given that I'm not absolutely sure what that means on my guitar. I went onto YouTube instead and I typed in the same thing. And what I did notice in the first two videos that came up was Harvest Moon, and I can't remember the name of the other song. They both, uh, he tuned, he, he retuned his guitar to what is called drop D. I thought, well, there you go. There's a, there's a, there's a signature move. Uh, which maybe I could try and that could maybe, just in that one thing, could act as a catalyst. So in Harvest Moon, so I've done that in this guitar just to give you an example. So drop D is just the E is dropped to D and the high E is dropped to D. So you get that. sound. Mm -hmm. 
gives you a particular sound and it gives you a, uh, a set of chords which are different from what you're used to because obviously you can't use the same chord shapes so I think that which is just barring the first three on the second fret is an E minor and I'm assuming this up here is just a D where he plays that, that riff so it's a D and I think the other one when I was looking at the video was how he plays a G which was like this the low note on the 6th string, 5th fret everything else opened but deadening the 5th note so all of a sudden you've got a whole new set of chords and a whole new feeling that you can use to jump off from something you might want to play yourself now, I haven't written anything based on that, I've never actually played any Neil Young before but I'm a bit more familiar with the idea of uh, open tuning and uh, old kind of blues so I guess I could play something I'd maybe write a wee tune on that so that's your task basically Dig out your favourite uh, artist, figure out what their signature moves are, or learn some of those or compile them together and then write your own song based on what you've learned. That's your song start Tuesday for today.